Uh, Adam, look. The ad layout for the new team line just came Adam? in. This is the one that I'm leaning towards. What do you think? Now forget like, forget like, the layouts. Do you realize what time it is? We have important decisions that have to be made. Where's Erica? She's not in her house. She's not in her office. She's in New York. Or she's on her way home by now. I just got a call from Roger Brown from Market Street Week. You know, the one who hosts the TV show about business. He said that Erica's appearance this morning in New York was wonderful. What appearance? And that her on-screen chemistry with our latest board member was sensational. Merrick? Erica went to New York City with Dimitri Merrick. Whenever anything goes wrong in your life, you just toss the blame over to Adam's corner. Besides, he makes a, a fine excuse for you to do exactly what you want to do. You have no idea what I want to do. Which is to live your life exactly as you want without any regard for anyone else. You couldn't handle a real man. Not in your life or home. Guided to hook up with detective. Well, I'm here now. What do you want? Hey, you came to me, remember? You're the one who initiated this friendship. Oh, and maybe okay, I'm not tops on your list and things didn't go down exactly as planned, but I did my part. Where is this leading? Well, where do you think? The ball's in your court, buddy. It's time to fish or cut bait. You don't come through for me. I'm gonna shoot you down in flames. You say they had chemistry? Apparently. It was a stunning show of unique solidarity. Why are you being so grouchy, Adam? A public and charming hatchet-bearing ceremony it, it will dispel anyone's fears about the future of enchantment. Why did this all happen so quickly? Why wasn't I consulted? You're a member of the board. I, I naturally assumed that they had discussed no, it with no, you. No, 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 no. If they had, it wouldn't have happened. Roger Brown is a blabbering nabob. He's a phony macroeconomist who doesn't even believe in free enterprise. And Dimitri, he knows bubkis about business, and let alone Erica's management techniques and the future of this company. You're the head of public relations. Did you choose that pirate to represent this company on television? No, I wasn't consulted either. But I'll tell you something. I'm going to use a chunk of that interview or still photographs or whatever I can to capitalize on a very positive alliance. Alliance? Alliance, my foot! Whoever, whoever designated Dimitri Merrick as the spokesman for this company designated an idiot. A highly inarticulate idiot who couldn't make this company look good if he tried. But he did. Oh. Oh, well, we only have that, that so-called journalist Roger Brown's word for that, don't we? And if Dimitri's oily ignorance managed to remain subsurface during this interview, that's just luck, that's just luck. Ooh, I hate being kept in the dark. I see. We, we can't afford to take stupid chances. Uh-huh. Adam, do you remember a little talk we had about six months or so ago? You told me that I shouldn't let my personal feelings cloud my business judgment, and you were right. You were 100% right, and I really appreciated that advice. Are you trying to tell me something, Mrs. Hunter? It was good advice. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. This has nothing to do with personal feelings. This has everything to do with professional instincts and a gut-level certainty that Dimitri Merrick is not to be trusted. You don't trust any man with Erica. Excuse me. You are jealous. And jealousy is a negative, destructive emotion that has no place in this office. Oh, is this an equal opportunity lecture? No, call it returning a favor. Come on, we've known each other for a while. We've been friends for a while, haven't we? Well, haven't we? In a way. Oh, I know how you operate. I've seen it firsthand. And I am not blind. 
to what's going on here, Adam. Erica is my friend, a good friend. And so are you, I hope. But Erica didn't marry you because she wanted to. You forced her into it. And now you're twisting her arm up behind her back, trying to make her love you or something, and it just can't be done. Oh, oh how would you know? I'm concerned about what this is doing to Erica. And you, and enchantment. I mean, with all due respect, Adam, why can't you just admit that it is a no-win situation and back off? Well, what, what kind of a country would we have if everyone had that defeatist attitude? Would we have settled the West if everybody ran around saying it can't be done, it can't be done? Would we, would we, have, would we have won World War II? Would we have conquered space? Would we have invented the computer? I think not. Even more to the point, my private, personal, domestic situation is none of your affair. Your title is head of public relations, and my personal relations are something I can handle quite well without you. Thank you. Point taken. I'm sorry if I've offended you. Look, uh, can we move on to the subject of the campaign budget? No. Oh, uh, thanks. No. I ha suddenly have a compelling urge to call an impromptu meeting. What kind of a meeting? Impromptu! Adam! That was a very nice try, Dimitri. That was a very nice try. But it won't work. Oh, what won't? Are, are you, uh, are you saying that this totally spontaneous event was, was a ploy? Of course it was a ploy. And it was totally transparent. It was, it was beneath you. Really? Yes. <laughs> In what way? Oh, please. May I say that whatever it was, you responded rather completely? Well, I thought you knew that about me. I never do anything halfway. So, I mean, it was a very nice kiss, as far as kisses go, but it was only a kiss. Well, a rather uh, unexpected kiss. No, actually, it was quite predictable. Every man who spends time with me tries to kiss me sooner or later, usually sooner. So, it had no significance. No, none whatsoever. Not business and not pleasure. From this totally spontaneous event, you should assume nothing. Well, I wouldn't dream of assuming anything, Erica. So, uh, you gonna hitchhike back to Pine Valley? We have wasted enough time. <clears throat> Fascinating. What? Well, I mean, it, it was a nice kiss. It was very nice, but... Uh... But? There was absolutely no chemistry. I'm glad that you said that first. You feel that way, too? Exactly. Now that we've got that settled, we can move on. Mm hmm. You're still in the driver's seat. Oh, I'm glad we both understand that. We both understand that. You honestly expect me to come through? Now, after the way things worked out? Hey, hold it. No, you hold it. Things got out of control, right, the, pal? We had a deal. A deal contingent on the fact that things would work out the way we planned, which they did not. So, so what are you telling me here? You're reneging? Whatever. Oh, Dylan, I don't like the way your mind works, you know? You hear what I'm saying? It's not healthy. As if I give a fig. Oh, right. Super cop doesn't want to get his law-abiding hands dirty. He doesn't want to do it himself. Well, in fact, 
He couldn't, right? And now that Will Cortland's out of the picture, Super Cop wants to disappear from my life, pretend he never knew me. That a boy, sleazebag. You got it. As far as I am concerned, these negotiations never took place. Nor did the conversations as well. But so uh, you go your way and I go mine? You learn quick. Uh, just one more angle you maybe didn't figure, detective. What is to stop me from trotting down to the local police station and squealing like a stuck pig? quiet up until now. But I've done a lot of thinking about everything that's happening in the dimension. Too much fighting, too much arguing. And we've both used extremely personal issues to provoke each other. Yes. And we can be on guard. Extremely sensitive subjects. Look, over the last 24 hours, Everything has just taken so much energy from me. It's taken so much of my effort, and it's just left me exhausted and needing, how shall I say this, to come clean with you, maybe? To level with you. That would be a switch. You know my marriage to Adam is a living hell. And yes, the coping devices that I have adopted, the ploys, as you choose to call them, including that interview I set up with Roger Brown in the city today for us, was all for one purpose and one purpose only, and that was to preserve and protect what is mine, enchantment. If your marriage is bad, why? Because if I divorce Adam, then he will take revenge. And I don't mean just ordinary, everyday revenge, like ruining my credit or my reputation. I mean Adam Chandler revenge. But he's threatening to oust you as CEO by voting his stock with me. He thinks. I had to forge an alliance. With me? Our major stockholder. You see, I told you I was coming on you. Well, what other choice do I have? I guess I might as well lay all the rest of my cards on the table. Look, over the last 24 hours, I have arranged for us to be together as much as possible. I see. To win me over. To prove that once and for all, I am the best able to be the CEO of Enchantment. Enchantment is my dream. It's my vision, and I really am the best one to lead it. And by the way, thank you. I mean, thank you for complimenting me the way you do. I'm the air today. You're welcome. Have I succeeded? Oh, you have a burning determination to hold on to what you think of as yours. What is mine? Last night you said that I never quit. And you were right. It's all about Oh, except one more thing. I do appreciate the situation you're in with your wife. And I do sympathize. I meant that. Thank you, Eric. 